Hey guys, what's up again? And as usual, you can see that I'm in the car. So now it's lunch hour. I'm just gonna try to slot in about 20, 30 minutes to do some recording for all of you. And today we are gonna talk about the sunglasses or the sunnies or the shades or my eye protection wear or my sports protection for my eye that I use throughout my ride. I get asked quite frequently, hey, what, what sunglasses am I wearing? So check it out. So if you noticed last weekend in the Tropicana Go Go Fit ride, uh, I was wearing a new sunglasses, okay, uh, sports sunglasses for cycling. So today I'm going to review this product which I've been asked quite often what am I using for my eye protection or my sunglasses and it is the it's Blitz. <laughs> okay, so similar like uh, my bib that I always recommend, uh, Blitz is a, is a sunglasses that I've been using even before they started selling in Malaysia. To be honest, I've been using Blitz sunglasses since five years ago, I think. And actually, it was recommended by my friend, which I shall not name him here. But if you're watching this channel, you know who you are. Thank you for recommending it. So when my friend actually brought it into Malaysia, he actually bought it and uh, he actually bought it from Sweden from their website. And then he bought it, he used it and he liked it and he told all of us it's good. Then suddenly all my friends will start buying it from uh, Blitz.com in Sweden. Then after that, uh, when we started using it for almost five years, we loved the sunglasses so much. So far, Blitz is one of the go-to eyewear for, for some of my friends and even including I. Cyclist Wardrobe posted on their Instagram that started selling and by the way, not only Cyclist Wardrobe sells it, at the link, uh, at the description below, I'm going to list out all the resellers that are selling Blitz. Um, then I was so happy and then I got in touch with uh, Cyclist Wardrobe and said, Hey, since you guys are reselling this Blitz product, you know, uh, can I do a collaboration with you because I do want to do a shout out to the community how good this sunglasses is and even though I'm getting sponsored to do certain product reviews this and that these are strictly my opinion and I do not allow them to tell me what to say so I'm going to say it all uh, based on my 100% point of view and what's the pros and the cons and blah 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 so this is my review for the Blitz uh, and my first Blitz sunglasses was the Blitz Matrix which you can see in the video here is something that I've used for, for I think over 5 years and the reason why I enjoy using Blitz is because it is one of the rare sunglasses that we've used in cycling you know when cycling in Malaysia is very humid, it's very hot especially when you're climbing or when you're stopped at a traffic light and, and then the mist start to build up in the sunglasses so far we feel that uh, when I use Blitz sunglasses right it does fog up but when as soon as I start moving, the fog just disappear. That is how good Blitz sunglasses is for us. And also the the I find the the spectacle is also very solid. Uh, we I have no problem with the coating for the Blitz sunglasses. Uh, with the material and whatsoever, it's pretty solid. And the best part is for the price point of around 500 ringgit, it's actually pretty affordable. And in terms of high performance wear, they are awesome. And Blitz actually is they are known for. Uh, sunglasses for snowboarding for winter uh, sports and this and that but when they come up with cycling products I think they are one of the better ones for me okay it's my personal opinion again like I said it's personal opinion and I've been using the Blitz Matrix for almost five years then I also bought, bought the Blitz Hero uh, which I bought it last year and it's also my go-to sunglasses uh, I've, I've tested other sunglasses as you, as you can see in my YouTube channel in all my cycling vlogs but I will tell you uh, Blitz is probably the only sunglasses that I actually bought myself two times. This is how good the, the, the product is. And then when uh, Cyclist Wardrobe and uh, willing to collaborate with me, and by the way, like I mentioned, there are other resellers that sell Blitz, uh, link uh, description at below. So, as uh, just so happened, I went to Cyclist Wardrobe and talked to them like, because they had a full range there, right? So if you want to go check it out, go check them out. Uh, then they agreed to do a, a sponsorship deal with me and they gave me two sunglasses. So they gave me uh, they asked me to choose two, so I chose this two, which I think is probably one of the uh, better options for cycling. Oh, yeah, the left one is the one that I used for the, the 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 right last week is the breeze, and this one is the what is it called vision. So I'm gonna show you the breeze, which is what what I chose. This uh, breeze retails at six hundred and sixty nine ringgit. It's one of their flagship model, I believe. And I open it, and there you go. It's a bit dirty because I actually used it. Okay, so Blitz has this 
a feature called, I mean the lens is called Nano Optics uh, or Nordic Light. So if you look at it, this is the easiest example to show to you with this video. Once you put it on, right, suddenly everything, of course it goes to a particular colour, uh, like yellowish or, or, or a bit pink, pinkish, fuchsia-ish, right? But what it does is it really improves the view of everything because everything becomes high contrast. So looking at it, it actually, what it does is um, it is difficult to distinguish color between blue and green and the green and the red wavelength. So by the Nordic light, uh, Nordic light lens providing the carrier greater contrast and clarity in tough conditions for you. So it, honestly speaking, um, my experience of wearing it is actually really clear. And the one that I used during the Tropicana race was the Coral Lens. So this Coral Lens creates more natural colors, I suppose. Uh, it's definitely lighter. See, the light transmission is 49 to 51 percent, so more light actually comes in. I won't recommend this for direct sunlight cycling. It's definitely a bit glaring. That's why when you buy this, it does come with two lenses. One which is the darker one, and this one is their standard darker lens, lah. Uh, but their clear lens, this the one which has the Nordic like nano coat, nano optics, right? And this is their standard lens, and I, I and I'm a big fan of. And, and anyway, honestly, I'm a big fan of their lens in general. Uh. But one thing cool about this Blitz Breeze uh, is it actually does come with this, uh, if you notice here, right? Yeah, you can see the sponge here. Yeah, so this is a sponge where it actually will, you know, try to prevent the sweat from coming into your eye. So that is pretty cool. And you can also remove it, of course. Let me see how it And it, there you go. So I can remove the top part of the sponge. And once you remove it, then it becomes just a, a standard eyewear, which is uh, very cool if you want something that's more lightweight. And I tell you, this is light once you remove the top, especially. So it becomes just a standard glasses, right there. And then, of course, then you can interchange it to the darker lens uh, for the for our cycling in Malaysia. You probably need this darker lens anyway. Oh, that's nice. It's really clear. So one thing I noticed about this lens is actually relatively thick. Uh, so one thing I want to tell you as well, when you're buying uh, cycling sunglasses, right, it's good to buy uh, branded items. I won't say branded, but at least reputable brands of cycling glasses because all these are actually really good plastic. Uh, the reason why you want good plastic on your sunglasses is because, especially when you're doing sports, you don't want to fall down. And if the if the plastic is a very brittle and low quality plastic, right, you don't want the material to crack and then poke into your eye or poke into your your cheek or your skin or whatever. So by having a, a, a proper cycling sunglasses from reputable brand uh, obviously then it will increase your protection especially during unforeseen circumstances uh. and it's good to wear your sunglasses or your, your spectacles or whatever throughout the ride is because for example if you look at my last weekend vlog right right now <laughs> A bug flew into my mouth while I'm smiling. And there were multiple times, at least, uh, at least three times in my life of seven years cycling, actually a rock did hit my sunglasses. So imagine if it hit my eye, you know. So it's actually good to wear uh, eye protection when you're cycling. So this is the 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 uh, breeze, and also, uh, so this is it. Uh, then also, when you do buy the breeze, uh, it comes with this uh, a strap at the back, so you can actually. Uh, let me see how to use this. You can actually unstrap this part here. And you can actually just uh, push it down, come up with the, the, the arms of the spectacle, then you can clip this in. So then it becomes like something that you can use for paintball, I suppose. So there you go. And clip it. <laughs> there you go. You can wear it for... You can wear it for your... What is it called? And... Um, for your paintballs, for football or whatever, because the lens that's given, the first lens is actually quite uh, is used for dim, for for dimmer at times. So, like you can play indoor indoor soccer or whatever, or or, or, or paintball or whatever. So it becomes eye protection for you. Like, it's pretty cool because uh, with the sponge here, it makes it more comfortable when you're wearing it. So it becomes like a oh oh oh, 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 oh my hair. On the Blitz Breeze, right, if you look at the nose bridge here, right, which is actually pretty cool. The nose bridge here allows customization on your bridge, so you can actually open it, tighten it, depending on how high your bridge. So this will probably solve a lot of problems for cyclists with <laughs> very little nose. Asians have this problem, we are out, we, our nose is literally not there. Well, some of us have nose, but most of it, we have quite flat nose. So this will help to, to, to increase the, 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 the nose area so that your cheek don't really touch the lens. 
So that's pretty good. And also the blitz breeze, right? You can adjust this uh, the the hook here. So you can actually like twist it and you'll hug, hug your head accordingly. Lah. So this one are uh, adjustable. Overall the plastic is really good quality, solid plastic. I tell you when you when you get a pair of bleeds, right, you just have to look at the lens, how thick, how thick the lens is. It's actually pretty thick lens and solid. Uh, it's not too heavy as well, and the construction overall is pretty solid. And the best thing is um, it's only ranging around 500 to 600 ringgit. So it's definitely value for money, this blitz. Sweden. Right? As well as a lens cleaner. Lah. A bag, a pouch and a lens cleaner. And the good thing is the box itself is the box, it's a hard case box, which is magnet for the for the sunglasses lah. So that is the Blitz uh, Blitz Breeze from Sweden. And now I'm gonna show you the other one which is Vision. This might be the more popular one for cycling lah. Because for this one it's only 579 ringgit, almost hundred ringgit cheaper. And for the for the Blitz Vision, uh, this one thing good about this sunglasses is it's more traditional for cycling. If you look at it, this is how it looks like. Ooh, I got this one which is the uh, it also has the nano optic Nordic light. There you go. So for this one, I believe will be darker a bit. Yeah, this is definitely a bit darker. Comes with uh, begonia violet. Uh, so this begonia violet light transmission is, transmission is twenty five to twenty eight percent. So it's uh, with hydrophobic, oleophobic, and anti fog. Well, this one is really good, right? Can't wait to use it on the road. Look at the color. Oh, there's the label here. Oh, this is nice. I, I bought this color of this lens, like a bit purplish pink, reddish pink. It comes with an additional adapter at the bottom so that you can change the color. Lah. There you go. You can change the bottom part to customize the color. So actually, the nose bridge that comes provided with the Blitz, with the Blitz Vision, right, actually is pretty cool. Mainly because you can remove the jawbone area here, the jawbone of the Blitz Vision by just simply clicking it. And once you replace it with the nose bridge that comes supplied together with the, with the box, in the box, it becomes a sunglasses without this bottom part. So the reason why you have this bottom jawbone is mainly for added protection if you are on a rough use or whatever. And it protects the lens if you're on wearing it on your forehead, uh, and everything you know but this one makes it a bit more lightweight so it really depends on how you want to do it so this definitely provides a lot of customization customization when using the blitz and blitz for this blitz vision uh, there's a there's a air inlet here man. you can see yeah so when you're cycling you can feel air coming through your face cooler a bit because you need the air inlet to go into your face to actually defog the lens so this is something that's uh, quite common for cycling glasses uh. I think, I think I'll use this this weekend. I kind of I like this one. Okay, and also for the Blitz Vision, the Blitz Vision also the nose bridge here allows you to do adjustment. So you can actually tighten it, widen it, depend, depending on your shape of your nose. And again, this is so adjustable. Uh, one thing I like about the both, uh, the Blitz Vision and Breeze, right, is look at this. It has a little like, little roof here. Let me see if you can see it. There's, a, there's a, like a little roof here. I call it a roof, but the top part of the glasses, right, is actually, uh, in a way, it, it loops around the lens, so it's creating, it's like, it's quite deep, if you look at it, it's here, it's quite deep. So you can look at it, it's quite deep. So end up, because it's so deep, right, uh, when you wear it, it actually does cover and shades the top part of your eyes, so when, the, when you're cycling, uh, and you're looking, normally you're looking like this, man, right, you're not looking like this when you're cycling, you're always tilted slightly down. This top part I notice here, we actually, cover your eyes from the direct sunlight and will shade off some of the sun coming in from the top part of the glasses. I think that is super helpful for uh, uh, based on this design. And that same goes for the Blitz Breeze because of the forehead protector that is supposed to cover sweat from coming into your forehead. It also provides a little shade for you when you're wearing it so that light, sunlight doesn't come in doesn't sit in from the top part of the glasses. So these are small, some of the small, small designs that I, I appreciate on the Blitz point of view, lah, on how they design their eyewear. I did, I did get some inquiries about people who are wearing spectacles uh, with a powered, powered lens spectacle, right? Um, I've also checked with Cyclist Wardrobe. They do uh, have the adapter for the Blitz eyewear. 
So if you want it, you can buy it. The adapt the, the lens adapter for for powered lens. Just have to bring that adapter to your optician, and then you can ask them to cut the glass to fit your need lah. So I do not have the adapter because I don't wear spectacle powered spectacles. So at least it's information for you. And then there's an adapter that plugs it inside here. So once you buy the adapter, you can actually use it for your other. Blitz sunglasses, huh? I just find Blitz for the value of for money. That's all I want to say about the Blitz sunglasses. It's really nothing much to say. It's just so good. So um, where to buy is at the list below at the description. And then, uh, but if you want, you can always contact Cyclist Wardrobe because that's where I got mine, and they have quite a lot of option, quite a lot of um, models there you can select. So there you go. This is my very simple review for Blitz sunglasses. So go check it them out and uh, always. Feel free to ask me more questions. I'll try to answer you. Uh, I try to answer all your questions whenever I can. <laughs> so take care, you guys. God bless, and I hope to see you around. And I hope to see you this weekend as well. Stay awesome, you guys. Stay awesome.